Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Rome with Skizzers. Um, this is going to be another restoration video. Uh, actually, it's going to be two tools. I got this um, channel lock hammer. It's pretty old, um, kind of beat up. I already started polishing the head on it. And I have this uh, Diston, Diston, we'll, we'll go with Diston, uh, handsaw. Now this isn't a very old one, this is probably, judging from the uh, emblem on it, I don't know if you guys can make it out really good right now, but judging from the emblem, it's between the 1970s and 1990s. Um, basically it was a family owned company and they made great hand saws through the 60s. And then HK Porter, same company that makes Porter Cable Bottom, and they went downhill. But this saw is old enough, um, it'll work for my purposes, and it's still good steel they used. It's not Chinese or nothing like that. So, we'll get started on the um, hammer. Like I said, uh, started work on it. Polish the head up just to see what it was and what I was getting into. Um, the handle was good. It doesn't need reset or anything. Somebody did add a wedge. But nice and tight. A little bit of tear out there. And the handle is just all around greasy. Um, there is a small crack right there. But I'm not worried about it. Once I uh, linseed oil this, it'll be fine. But let's swing you over here. Get you down on the vise there. And first thing we're gonna do is clean up the handle a little bit. And all we're gonna do is just scrape it with a knife. Get that tighter. Scraping is the best thing to do when you're trying to salvage a handle because you're not taking a whole lot of material off. You're just getting down to the raw wood again. This is actually uh, my preferred method for doing this. Um, it even works very well with new axe handles if they have uh, like a polyurethane or anything on them. I just don't want to move a little bit, that's alright. Move this. Don't need to be listening to tinging through the whole video. <laughs> thing so dirty I can't even tell what the wood grains like on it okay now I can flip it I'll open up the vise pretty far hopefully it opens enough oh there it is dropped right in let's get this sucker good and tight ah there we go I like doing these light restorations. Um, it's something anybody can do. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot of tools or skill. And the finished product says it all. Um, you go to the garage sale, you could probably find a hammer like this for five dollars and uh, as long as the handles nice and tight um, and not overly cracked and 
messed up, you know, if it's still a usable hammer. It's well worth just a little bit of time and effort. And at the end of the day, you can have a perfectly good working functional hand tool. side and get the rest of the top here the more I do this I don't like mounting this vice down because I did have it mounted to the table once and depending how long the handles are you either gotta take the vice off and work on the floor or drag the table out and a lot of times it's easier just to work on the floor because this is all I'm doing anyway. There we go. It's actually not a bad looking handle. We'll take care of some of this tear out here. Put the device back in. Get our four in hand. I'm going to use the curve side because the way the curve's cut kind of has a flare to it. I don't want to take that flare out of it. Sandpaper on it now. And we'll just sand the whole handle real quick. Get everything smooth. Doesn't take much. And any little imperfections in the handle, the uh, linseed oil will make uh, quick work for that. Side a little bit. Just get all that blackness off of it. There we go. It's pretty nice. I think what I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm going to heat it a little bit. Low heat.
I tend to do this with all my handles. I just like the look of it. And plus, uh, when you put your first coat of linseed oil on, it takes really good. this being heated that old wood will just draw this in and seal up any little stress cracks or anything like that you gotta work quick with it because it's hot as hell and like I said it just keeps drawing it in let's get a uh, little bit for the eye there that's my boy running around upstairs if you hear that thumping <laughs> he's too so he's into everything <laughs> All right. There we go. Now it's starting to cool off. Wipe off the excess there. And over time, this handle will be brought back to life. That's pretty cool. Not a bad hammer. It doesn't take much work. Um, as far as the polishing of the head, uh, when we get on the handsaw, I'll show you how I go about doing that. Okay. Let's move you back over to the table here. All right. I'll just move the whole camera. There we go. Get you done. On it. All right. Okay. Have a beer break. The saw is in really good condition. Um, was never molested. These were cut off from factory. Nor the older ones came to a point, but when HK Porter took over, this was their new handle design. I guess they figured everybody broke them off anyway, or cut them off, but they changed the design. Um, the teeth are awesome. Um, it's actually has been very very lightly used I don't know if you're going to be able to see but all the way up um, none of them are bent or peened nice and sharp so first thing I'm going to do is pull off the distant badge that should be this screw right here oh those are nicer Rats. All right. Let me get uh, something to push that out of there. Should have something small enough. At least I used to. Oh. 
I forgot I uh, actually rearranged some stuff. Uh, here we go. Hmm. Shit's actually organized for once. Uh, let's see here. Try the knockout out of there. Get our small hammer. Considering this is just brass. There we go. Now oh, I got that out. That's the badge for it. Sorry, it's backwards. But the reason you can tell that it's from the 70s to the 90s is this, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a rosette. is circles. The other ones were uh, just dots. And the older ones, as they went back, uh, had Philadelphia markings on them. And those are worth a decent bit of money. But, uh, pretty nice. I think this will clean up good. All I'm going to do is take my drill with my wire wheel. Try not to cut my hand. We'll try to clean that up a little bit. Get some of that rust and junk out of there that filled up over the years. I don't want to go too crazy and scratch it. Okay. Let's get some steel wool. I'm going to have to get some new stuff. This stuff here is pretty beat up. Oh. There we go. That looks a lot better. For these lighter restorations, I don't want to go too crazy with something like that because I honestly don't know what it's made out of. And I don't want to start wearing the uh, writing away on it. So I'm going to call that good. Now let's take this handle off rest of the way. Okay. Stick all that stuff in there so we don't lose it. I'm good at that. I always thought it was so neat how the old stuff's put together. You know, you could actually service it and rebuild if need be. That's not good. That one firing out of there. Oh, there it is. Okay. One left. Oops. Love that one. All right. So that's all of them. Let's see if we can't work his handle off. Whew. Jeez. All right. There we go. 
Here's our blade. And our handle. So let me uh, bring you guys back over to the vise here. Okay. Okay. Move that hammer. Boy, that's a nice looking hammer. See the channel up name engraved in it. Nice light restoration. This will actually be a really good hammer for uh, my leather working. And uh, putting wedges in. It's a little heavier than the Ace Hardware Claw hammer. And I think this, we're going to try the same thing. Just take our knife and clean it up. Get some of this old stain off. See what we got underneath. Actually, I don't even think this was stain. It's feeling like just really, really old shellac. This is actually the first handsaw I ever did. I was really looking forward to this project. here. Quick work of those. came like this or if at some point somebody did this to it if they did this from the factory they really messed up because uh this actually 
really beautiful wood underneath this stuff. Looking a lot better. Uh, I guess we'll get a smaller knife and do the inside of the handle. Boy, is that packed with just dirt and grime from people's hands over the years. That is thick. All right. Well, you guys kind of got the gist of what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to pause the recording for now get this finished up and I'll be right back with you It's actually a pretty nice looking handle. Feels really nice now. Like I said, I don't think that stuff was uh, factory on this. I think somebody added that. It's a shame. Look at the carvings. The way they're done, you can tell they're all done by hand. I'm just going to scrape each one out. Get any sawdust and start from over the years out so we can add our oil linseed oil to it it's hard to believe even if this was from the 90s you know even in those days there still was some stuff that was done by hand. It wasn't a machine. Pretty nice. Oh, let me get the tops. Don't want to miss any. Just get some of the junk out of there. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some nice heavy coat of oil linseed oil on it. Yeah. 
worked out really good. Fantastic. Not too bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to haul everything out to the garage and we'll take care of the blade. Make out look good. I'll catch you later. Okay, guys, we're out in the garage now. And all I do to clean, like, Polishing axe heads, just even cleaning the edges on some of them. Um, I got a compressed air uh, roll lock disc. This one's a fine, and then I, if it's real heavy stuff, I'll use the uh, red Scotch Bright one. But we're gonna start off with the fine because I honestly don't want this axe to look brand new. Or not, I'm sorry, not an axe, a saw. I don't want it to look brand new. You know, because the handle's aged. And for me to fix that, I think it would take too much character out of it. I might as well just get a new handle at that point. As you can see, it's pretty rusted. You know, but it will take our scotch spray. I'm going to lower you down a little bit so I'm not holding it up. There we go. That's basically all I'm doing. But I'm going to finish this up. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. That's about five minutes worth of work. It's about as good as I can get it. Let's go back in the uh, workshop. Put this thing back together. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, let's get this thing back together. First off, what I'm going to do, you know what, I'm not going to use WD-40. There's my one camera. My I'm going to wipe the blade down with oil now. Just because once it's a uh, Mine into the handle, I won't be able to get this area here really good, and that was the rustiest part. Wipe that down real good. Okay. You have to excuse all the noise upstairs. My wife decided to start vacuuming. Gotta get the holes lined up. Where, where they go? Which could be easier said than done. I think that may be. Uh, oops. Too far. There we go. Okay. Still push these in.
as well. this a tap. There it is. Sometimes they, they just need a little bit of coaxing. Four. Okay. Now for our badge. The badge is straight. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There it is. Okay. Check this out. about you guys I think I turned out pretty nice it's got an aged look to it I really like that okay that back up there oh there's a uh, one thing I want to do to both of these, follow me. Okay. All right. Uh, this. This.
that one preheat it a little bit. And we'll heat this one up. warm. Okay. This one heated. Yeah. Had to do a maker's mark. Let everybody know Skizzers redid these. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Um, tried to make it as quick as possible. I think he's turned out really nice, so I've been needing a good saw. Glad I found this white use on it too, which was nice. Hammer turned out nice. You can see this thing's been abused over the years. There's chips. It was red. It's got some kind of maker's mark there. Not sure what that means. Channel lock brand though. But yeah. I think he's going to be nice for the collection. Definitely got a good home. So, but if you guys like running with kizzers, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.